The most underreported story in the in the world is also the most underreported story in the United States, and that is um, that we have a, a single global argument at this point that is uh, almost unprecedented in the history of the planet. And that is between austerity and growth. Between the idea that the way to uh, get out of our economic challenges, and we have global economic challenges, is to cut, you know, to reduce our, our services, to reduce what we spend on education, to reduce what we, you know, do as a communal grouping or as a society, versus the idea that no, the only way we've ever gotten out of things is by growing, by doing more, by investing. And um, this, if you look at the entire planet, this is the this is the division, this is the fight that's going on. And yet, by and large, our media never covers it that way. They see all these other struggles and divisions and they see everything as a local fight or some you know battle over social security in the United States. But with all due respect, the battle over social security in the United States is exactly the same battle that's going in on in Britain right now over what they do with the university funding and all these other things. Same battle that you're seeing in Greece, same battle in Cyprus. So all these questions of how you do this and it is striking to me, striking, that we have uh, so much media in the world that you know doesn't notice that it's one big story and so usually when you ask about the most undercovered story what people would say to you is you know it's some little thing that they haven't heard about I would argue the big story is the big overarching one that somehow we don't notice it's almost like we're in Oz and we're not you know we're not seeing you know who's really behind the curtain the fact is we have a very clear global struggle going on and it's exceptionally undercovered as such, as a result, people in countries all over the world don't see themselves in the proper perspective. They, they think they have their own local problems rather than you know, a global challenge. And frankly, if they actually united across a lot of different lines, uh, people could have a lot of power on this.